Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today I'm going to be showing you another career mode challenge I've got for you guys today. Uh, it's like the Sanchez one, uh, it's a relevant transfer which could be happening in real life. It is the swap deal with Sanchez and Mkhitaryan so I'm going to be bringing in Mkhitaryan and I'm also going to be bringing in Aubameyang because uh, he has been heavily linked with Arsenal. Uh, so. Before we do get into the video, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be greatly appreciated. Comment your thoughts down below of this challenge and any other challenges which I could do in the future for you guys to see. And yeah, uh, let's get into the career mode. I will be back once I have uh, listed both Mkhitaryan and San uh, Aubameyang into my transfer hub. Right guys, as you can see here, we are going in for Mkhitaryan right now. Uh, I'm going to try... Uh, swap Sancho straight up to see if they will take that. Oh, they're looking for a right back. I mean, I'll put the Bushi in and then hopefully they want money. Oh my god, uh, I'll take that. We're not going to be using him, but now the only problem is Aubameyang. Will I have enough money for Aubameyang? I might have to sell. I might have to just try get a swap for Sancho, even though they're not doing that in real life. Just to see. But looking for a striker okay um, how about Giroud plus 89 million um, okay why not right guys uh, let's go for contracts uh, let's try to get Aubameyang in, in for the squad um, how much do we have do we, okay we do have a lot a lot of funds to play about with here okay right how much is a three year contract? I don't reckon he want more than that. I uh, don't want that. Hopefully we can, uh, right, wage. I'll offer 150 grand a week. Uh, edit that. Yeah, and then add 2 million bonus. Why not? Oh god, right. Just accept that. I think he just wanted uh, things for his appearance. Oh, so we don't have the money to actually get and so I will be right back once I have enough money to actually do this deal so uh, once I get enough money I will uh, show you the contract negotiation so I will be right back alright guys we do have enough money now to finalize this Mkhitaryan deal hopefully we can uh, get it wrapped up uh, and done straight away uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna accept everything that he wants and stuff uh, hold on to three years on his contract and then he wants that, I'll just give him that and then we'll go over to the squad and we'll put both um, both Mkhitaryan and uh, Aubameyang into the team now the only problem is where does Lacazette play? does he does he get to play or not? that is the problem, there's so many players right Mkhitaryan can play I'll put Ozil out on that side and then Jacker goes in there. Aubameyang, see I could put Aubameyang out there and then or I could do that and then play Aubameyang up front like that because there's no one else that can really like get in the team. But I think I'm going to leave it like that for now and I know obviously Lacazette is a striker but he can play in behind Aubameyang for now. So that the Mkhitaryan on the right, Ozil on the left Wilshire, Xhaka, Bellerin, Koscielny, Mustafi, Kolasinac and Czech. So with that I will get to the Community Shield game and then also the first game of the season. Then I'll go on to the January the 1st through the simulation and then so on and so forth. So I will be right back when I get to the Community Shield game. Right guys, as you can see here we are at the um, Community Shield game against Chelsea. We will now be uh, going into the game, just simming through it like we do in... Uh, all the games that we show um, I see Chelsea put out a decent side that's probably the best team unless maybe Fabregas can get in there but for the first half nothing happening Azpilicueta picks up a yellow card in the 52nd minute for Chelsea uh, this game doesn't look like anything's going to be happening in normal time we could be going to extra time unless someone gets a late goal oh no okay well it must have gone straight to pens and then we've won 4-3 on penalties so with that we have won the community shield so even though there was no goal scored in the game we do win 4-3 on pens so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sim through 
to the first game of the season and then once I'm there I'll show you the first game and then after that we'll sim it through to the January the 1st and then we'll see where we're at on uh, January the 1st so I'll be right back guys uh, to show you the first game of the season right guys we are back and we are in to the first game of the season against Leicester and we've got a good side now so we should be getting uh, the win here against Leicester at home uh, Abora scores for Leicester, they go 1-0 up, Xhaka picks up a red card in the 27th minute which means we are now down to 10 men leading into the second half, or Brighton picks up a red card for Leicester now it's 10 against 10 and Koscielny scores, equalises for us uh, it's 1-0, 80th minute now is anything going to happen late on? no, right we pick up a 1-0 draw against Leicester for our first game of the season no impact from Aubameyang or Mkhitaryan there but hopefully that can uh, change once uh, the season carries on so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sim to January the 1st and hopefully we have got a good impact and we're towards the top of the table so I will be right back guys with uh, like the table and stuff after January the 1st so I will be right back alright guys we have made it back to January the 1st and we're going to back out here and as you can see there, we lost 3-1 to West Brom, so that's not looking good. The table, we are 12th in the league. Wow. We've played 21 games, won 5, drawn 10, lost 6. Wow, that is that is not a good start for us. Let's um, go over to the team. Lacazette's actually injured now, which is bad. Right, let's go over to the stats of the squad. Um because that does not look good Danny Welbeck's the one that has the most goals right now Mkhitaryan has uh, no, yeah Mkhitaryan has three goals Aubameyang only has one goal in 14 appearances he hasn't really started every game he was Mkhitaryan but right now that is really really poor and uh, unfortunately it doesn't really reflect on what I thought it was going to be like I thought we could could have like pushed towards maybe a a big title finish maybe we're still in the Europa League which is good but it's it's not really good is it so we're gonna have to sim here all the way through to the last game of the season and then I will be back once that has simulated so I will be right back right guys we have made it to the last game of the season against Huddersfield now I really am skeptical to see what position we're in right now um, as you can see my rating is 54 we're ninth in the league wow that's really bad we're ninth in the league 37 games played 13 wins 12 draws 12 assists uh, 12 losses not assists um, I don't really know what to think of that so if we win this game we could maybe stretch up to around seventh but that depends on other uh, other games, so let's see. Let's sim this game. Right, we'll fix the problem. Lacazette's injured again. Wow. Um, we'll put Ramsey on there, and uh, we'll carry on. So, uh, wait. Someone else. Jack is injured as well. Okay. Um, Coquelin, and then I'll just put Lacazette over there. So. I can I guess I can put Mkhitaryan down there but at the moment the, the the team obviously hasn't been playing very well we're gonna go sin this game hopefully we can get something out of this game on the last get day of the season uh, I don't think there's any more European games left I think we got knocked out uh, of that tournament but unfortunately we go 1-0 down against Huddersfield Mkhitaryan scores for us to make it 1-0 uh, Mkhitaryan making an impact for us Kalashinac scores 2-1 to us now uh, I mean this game doesn't really mean anything because this has by far been the worst finish for the career mode experiment or challenges that we have done so we'll move on forward we'll see uh, like how far we got up the table oh, we moved up to 8th that's it Crystal Palace 1 so if we just go check the calendar, check there's no games. Yeah, there's no games there. So what I'm going to go do is check the player stats. Right, anyone 
Aubameyang got 10 goals for us. Newcastle United. Wow, he only got 10 goals. Southampton. Assist. Uh, Aubameyang got six assists. So it looked like it looks like Aubameyang was uh, the player that kind of uh, helped us, but we didn't exactly go far, did we? So unfortunately, I'll go as I go to the player stats. Oh, I pressed the wrong thing. But unfortunately, it does not look well. Like, like it's gone well for us in this so we're going to go over to goals Aubameyang did finish as our top goal scorer Mkhitaryan got 9 goals 5 assists, Aubameyang 11 goals 7 assists but unfortunately that challenge did not go according to plan we didn't even get in the top 4 so even though Aubameyang did play well uh, form excellent, very happy what about Mkhitaryan uh, he's not not as good, but unfortunately, guys, that challenge did not work either. But it was a good effort. It was something fun to do. So, if there's any more challenges you want me to do, then please put them into the uh, comment sections below. Leave a like on the video. Comment, uh, obviously, your thoughts on the video. Uh, and yeah, leave it, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.